the child of God, what are those situations that have truly overwhelmed you? What are those problems that are weighing you down? I want you to know that the Lord will help you. The Lord will take every of those situations away. The word of God in Psalms 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. I want you to know that God is your very present help. And every time you get yourself in trouble, He will be there to help you. He will be there to strengthen you. He will be there to take you out of that trouble. He knows all the troubles that have surrounded your life. And He's telling you today, my child, I will help you. He's telling you today, I will take care of it. I will fix that situation. And I will see to it that you enjoy your life again. He said he will send you help. He said he will send you help from his sanctuary. He said he will grant you support from Zion. Dear child of God, always have it at the back of your mind that God is always there to help you. He is always there to support you. No matter the situation, no matter the problem, he wants to always assist you. He wants to be of help to you at all times. And that was why he said he is your very present help. That is at all times, that very moment that it occurs to you that there is a trouble around you. Just know for sure. Just be very aware that God is there to help you. That very time that you sense that problem, be well aware that God is there to help you. All he needs you to do is to call on to him and say, Lord, be my help and he will be there to support you. Psalms 20 verse 1 to 2 says, May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. Dear child of God, the Lord wants to make all your plans to succeed. He wants to see to it that you are making progress in life. He wants to see to it that you are making headways in life. So he said he will give you all of your heart desires. He will set to you and this will cause your heart to rejoice. He said, Father, we will shout for joy when you are victorious and we will lift up our banners in the name of our God. Dear child of God, I want you to know that God will be good to you. God will be gracious to you. And by this, this will cause you to always have a reason to praise him. The word of God in Psalms 41 says, Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Always know that the Lord is considering you at all times. He is asking himself, what is it my child needs to be settled? And he always wants to do that. He's the God that knows everything you need. So even before you ask, dear child of God, he wants to provide it. He wants to support you. He wants to be sure that you have all the assistance that you need. That was why the scriptures in Isaiah 65 says, when you yet speak it, he will answer and do the things that you want. Dear child of God, he had already said in Numbers that he would do what he hears you say. So every time it occurs to you that there is a need around you that needs to be settled, be rest assured today that God has connected himself to you and wants to see to it that you are helped. He wants to see to it that you are supported. He doesn't want you to carry the burdens by yourself. That was why in Matthew, the word of God says that we should come to him, every one of us that are heavy laden every one of us that are troubled, every one that is burdened. And he said he will give rest. Dear child of God, the Lord wants to give you rest. He wants to bless you with that thing that will satisfy your heart. He wants to give you that thing that would cause you to rejoice. So don't go far away from him. Rather turn to him. Go closer to him and let him know all the things that you need because he's aware of each and every one of them. All he needs from you is just for you to call and make those demands and then he will make them available. Sometimes it may look as though God is delaying, but I want you to know 
that God is always concerned about you and he always want to be of help to you. He said he will keep you alive when there is trouble. When the troubles are around you, he will keep you safe. Be rest assured of one thing, that your safety is God's concern. He's always interested in everything that will cause you to be happy. So do not think at any point in time that God is against you. Do not allow anything whatsoever to convince your heart that God is not in support of you because that is a lie. That is the first hold that the devil sells to people around the world so they can go away from God. But God is always there to be of blessing to you and to help you. The word of God in Psalms 138 verse 7 says, You keep me alive when there is trouble all round me. When my enemy is angry, you fight against him. You save me with your right hand. I want you to know that even when your enemies try to rise up against you, when the Lord sees every of these things, he's always there, running towards your direction to help you. Every of those enemies that are angry, that are bitter, that you are making progress, and even those ones who are excited that you are in pain and that you are in trouble, he also said he will arise on your behalf and he will deal with them. Dear child of God, no one thing for sure that God wants you to be safe. And that was why he said he will stretch his right hand and he will save you. He will see to it that every trouble that has found itself around you, he will take them away from you. Those burdens, those yoke, those things that are limiting you, those things that are hindering your progress in life, the Lord God wants to deal with each and every one of them. So we said in Psalms 91 verse 15, He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. He said, I will be with him in trouble. Dear child of God, do not hesitate to call on God. Do not hesitate to beckon on him at all times. Because he said he will answer you. He said he will respond to you. He said he will be with you in trouble. And then the reason why he will be with you is to deliver you. And at the same time, to honor you. Dear child of God, you will receive that honor from God. That honor that will change your story. That honor that will change your position. That honor that will put a song, a new song in your lips that will put a new song on your mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. That honor that will change everything about your life, the Lord will bring it to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And this will cause you to be glad. This will cause you to rejoice. And you'll be excited forevermore in the mighty name of Jesus. So do give yourself reasons to appreciate God, even in the face of the trouble, even in the face of the pains, even in the face of the limitations, have a reason to praise the Lord. Have a reason to say thank you still. Have a reason to appreciate because I know one thing for sure he is coming through for you and he will see to it that you are blessed. He will see to it that you survive. He will see to it that the blessings that are attached to your life, each and every one of them will be made manifest and they will come to you and to your family. So do not give up on God. Do not give up on his promises. And soon enough, you will testify of each and every one of them in Jesus' mighty name. The troubles will be over very soon. The troubles, the pains, and the sorrow will be gone from you. And you will remember them no more. Keep trusting in him because he has said to you already that he is your present help in a time of trouble. He will come take those pains away and it will deliver you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Dancing, celebration, will return to your life and to your family again in Jesus' mighty name. And God will set to you. God will set to your heart. And God will honor you. He will honor you so greatly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are preserved. You are protected. You are secured by God in the mighty name of Jesus. From this day henceforth, 
everyone who had planned evil against you, those who have hated you without a cause, the Lord will keep you and preserve you in the mighty name of Jesus. From this day, the Lord will consider all of your enemies and send judgment. All the things they have done against you, the Lord will consider and will see to it that today they will begin to have the recompense of all the evils they had planned against you and against your family. Those who delight in seeing you cry, those who delight in seeing you mourn, those who rejoice when you are mourning, today begin to visit them. That is the word you are saying to God. Begin to respond today because he has said that he will rise up for you and he will smite all those who had been against you. Dear child of God, I want you to know today that your father in heaven that loves you, your father in heaven that cares for you, will begin to respond on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. Enough is enough for all the things they are doing. Enough is enough for all the evils they have always been planning against you. The Lord will deliver you from every of your enemies. In Psalms 18 verse 48, the word of God said, He delivered me from my enemies. Yea, thou lifted me above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Dear child of God, the Lord will not only deliver you, but the Lord will raise you above everyone who had planned evil against you in your place of work. Everyone who has said you will not amount to much, from this day henceforth, you will become their boss in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be the head because he has said you will be the head and not the tail. And the Lord will turn the table around in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will turn the situation around in the name of Jesus. That everything you have been planning against you will this day and forever be frustrated in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord that knows how to frustrate the plans of the enemy. The Lord that knows how to see to it that their plans are not carried out. He will stand for you today in the mighty name of Jesus. In the court of heaven there shall be judgment and everyone who had planned evil against you. The wicked ones who had said that nothing good will ever happen to you they will start receiving their judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, trust in God and put all of your faith in him because he's coming through for you this day in the mighty name of Jesus. And he will begin to respond to everyone that had decided that your life will not amount to much in the mighty name of Jesus. This day, everyone who have said you will not rise to the top, with their very eyes they will see you rising. In the mighty name of Jesus. This day, everyone who have said you will not do anything great with your destiny, they will see great things, exceedingly great things happening to your life and to your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Those who have said that you will not have a reason to rejoice, they will be ashamed when they see every single one congratulating you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Those who have said that laughter will be far from your family, they will see with their eyes that the Lord has turned your mourning into dancing in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord had baptized your home with the abundance of laughter in the mighty name of Jesus. They thought that you will not amount to anything great ever again, but soon they will see you on the very headline news because the Lord had turned your story in the mighty name of Jesus. Like the Lord turned the story of those in captivity and they were like those that were dreaming. Dear child of God, the Lord will turn everything around. He will reverse that situation and you will see the mighty hand of God at work in you. In the mighty name of Jesus. They had concluded that you will be incarcerated. They had concluded that you will not see the light of the day again. But this day, they would see your vindication in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the Lord is visiting you and is turning everything around in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, in their heart, they thought that they have gotten you. They thought that their plans had worked already. But they will see you work out a free man. They will see you receive your liberation. They will see you turn your life to God because the Lord had decided to have mercy upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. They have concluded your matter. They said for you, the case is closed. Nothing can be done again. 
but the Lord today will cause there to be a change and there will be a supernatural intervention in the mighty name of Jesus. From the place that you least expected, help will come in the mighty name of Jesus. From the place that you least thought of, help will locate you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, and the camel's back will be broken in the mighty name of Jesus because everything they have done will fall flat. Everything will scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, hope in God. Put your trust in Him and it will not put you to shame. His plans for you are plans of good and not of evil. His thought for you is to give you a great future and it will not allow everything they have planned to happen in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not sit and watch them carry out their evil intention against you and against your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, hope in Him and trust in Him. They have planned that your life will be a reproachable one, but they will see everything turn around and you will be honored in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be elevated in the mighty name of Jesus and you will be decorated in the mighty name of Jesus. That joy that they have said that you will not have, they will be the one losing their joy and peace because the Lord has turned the story around for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, trust the Lord in his faithfulness. Trust him in what he has decided to do and tell him, Lord, my faith is in you all the way. I know you will not put me to shame and I can guarantee, dear child of God, you will not see shame in the mighty name of Jesus. So what they meant for evil against you, God had taught it for good and there will be a turn around in the mighty name of Jesus. As he turned the story around for Joseph, he will turn the story around for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will leap in shout and praises of joy, knowing that the Lord has settled you, knowing that the Lord has visited you, and knowing that the Lord has turned things around in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, I say to you today, keep your faith in God. And every of those who have proudly risen against you, today all their shoulders will be dropping in the mighty name of Jesus because the Lord have decided to do you good in the mighty name of Jesus because the Lord have decided to establish you in the mighty name of Jesus. And right in your eyes, they all will be dethroned in the mighty name of Jesus. So be motivated in God today because the Lord is going to bring joy and brightness to your life and to your family in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will see it and watch how the Lord turned it around in Jesus' mighty name. Receive these prophetic blessings because God will make it happen in your life and in your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Your hands will grab them and your mouth will rejoice of each and every one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Know today that the case is settled. Know today that in the court of heaven, that matter is a done deal already in the mighty name of Jesus. And on the earth, you will be called that it was dismissed in the mighty name of Jesus. On the earth, you will be told, be free. Everything about your life, everything about the troubles you have faced, we are sorry. This is how the words will come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord will bring a great compensation for the evil that has been done against you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Congratulations, dearly beloved, because the Lord has settled it. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, dearly beloved. God bless you and shalom.